My name is uh, Dr. Mohit Bhutani. I'm a professor of medicine at the University of Alberta and a practicing respirologist in Edmonton. You know, when we meet with our patients and you read the papers and, and you see what's happening online, uh, there are yeah a lot of myths uh, regarding uh, influenza. And, and one of the common myths is that it's not a, not a serious illness. And, you know, I think it just takes uh, your own personal experience to know that when, if you do ever get influenza, it is quite impactful to your life. So it is quite a serious illness in, in general. But when we look at the important concepts regarding the seriousness of it, when we look at healthcare utilization, you know, we have around 12,000 admissions to hospital every year for influenza. Uh, we have a, a mortality that's of around 3,500 people every year die of, of influenza. So it's not, you know, negligible. It, it's actually very, very serious illness. And as we've highlighted in other aspects of, of, this, of this video, uh, you realize that it's not just problems of the lungs. If you have influenza, you know, in the week following the influenza, and there's a six times to seven times higher likely to view having a heart attack. So these are not incon inconsequential uh, outcomes. And so at the end of the day, you know, we need to really think about how, uh, that influenza is a serious illness and we need to take it seriously. And again, the vaccine is a good way to help us prevent uh, from us acquiring the, the influenza virus. The, the myth of I've never had it doesn't mean you never will get it, right? Uh, every year uh, people uh, get infected, a, a billion people around the world uh, get infected with uh, influenza and some of them were going to be people who get it for the first time, right? And so it's not that uh, in you, you, if you haven't got it, that's that's fantastic. You've you've, you've been lucky, and, and hopefully that continues to be the case. But it doesn't mean that you will, you won't get it. The other uh, important factor to remember again is is that how can you help uh, not spread the virus around as well? So by getting the influenza vaccine, you're going to help prevent passing the infection on to other people. One thing that I've heard many times is that you know a doc. If, you know, I got the influenza vaccine, and, and boy, I got, I got sicker than a dog the year the year the year I got the influenza vaccine. I'm never going to get it again. And the reality of it is, is that um, the type of vaccine that the majority of us get is the inactivated vaccine. And the inactivated vaccine uh, takes a virus which is no longer alive, and, and we develop a, a process that helps you develop an immune response to it. So the vaccine in and of itself uh, can't give you the infection. The reality of it is, it is, is that we, we only can protect you against certain strains of that virus. Okay, So the modeling that we use to develop the vaccine helps us develop a, a vaccine against certain strains, but not all strains of influenza. And then also it doesn't protect you against all the other types of viruses that are out or in during flu season. These are like rhinoviruses or enteroviruses. And so these viruses, there is no vaccine for it. And they can certainly cause a high degree of illness as well. So the reality of it is, is that um, although it helps prevent you from getting the viral strains that are in the, the vaccine itself, it doesn't protect you from everything. And so at the end of the day, the inactivated vaccine cannot provide you or cannot cause you to have the, the flu. So side effects associated with the vaccine, uh, the majority of the side effects that happen with this vaccine are usually local uh, reactions. So you're getting a needle and the needle hurts or causes pain. There might be a bit of redness and swelling around the site of the injection. And those are commonplace and, and really should not be surprising to, to most. But what the Public Health Agency of Canada does and, and what um, uh, we, we do from a medical standpoint is that we, we are always looking out for adverse events associated with this vaccine. And with all the years of this vaccine being administered to people, there are rare case reports of certain associations with the vaccine, but they're not prevalent enough. I mean, they're not happening in such high frequencies that we can say it's causative. So at the end of the day right now, the vast majority of evidence suggests that the vaccine is safe to use. There will be some local irritation and local reactions at the site of the injection, but in terms of the systemic aspects of things, there's really little evidence to no evidence to suggest that it causes anything more serious than that. In terms of you're getting the vaccine on a yearly basis and weakening your immune system, in fact, it's it's almost the alternative. Um, as, as we discussed earlier, as we age, our immune system starts to weaken as well. And so the, the, the flu vaccine will actually help you know, augment the immune response that you can develop or mount uh, in response to influenza. So in fact, it doesn't uh, really weaken your immune system, but it sort of helps to develop a better uh, immune response. At the end of the day, again, as we've seen with some of the literature out there, is that getting the flu vaccine on a year-to-year -year basis uh, helps you fight the flu, 
uh, more effectively. So you're going to get less symptoms as well, uh, faster recovery uh, if you do get the flu vaccine from year to year. So that's a myth that really is, is not founded in any science. The only real contraindication that uh, is published within the guidelines for uh, getting a vaccine, the only contraindication that's been really well established is if you've actually ever had an allergic reaction to the vaccine itself. That's really the only absolute contraindication to it. But other than that, there's really no other real contraindication to getting it or having any allergies or drug interactions. None of that uh, sort of concept has really evolved in the, in the literature or in the science. And so at this point in time, we think it's very safe for the vast majority of people to, to obtain and get this flu vaccine. When we look at the, the influenza vaccine, we have to just remember that the vaccine is developed yearly and it's developed in response to the strains that we think are going to be the most prominent strains of influenza that are uh, going to affect uh, people. But what it does not protect against is those other strains and it doesn't protect against the non-influenza viruses like the, the cold virus or the rhinovirus. It doesn't help us protect us against that. So uh, although we get an influenza vaccine to help us protect against influenza, we are still at risk of, of having other types of infections, respiratory infections like uh, the rhinovirus or enterovirus, which are known to cause the common cold. So a common question that we get is uh, whether it's safe to get the influenza vaccine you know, if you're pregnant. And in fact, um, pregnant women represent a very high risk group uh, of patients uh, that are likely to develop more of the serious complications due to influenza. And so in fact, because it's an inactivated vaccine, there is no risk to you or to your unborn child uh, in regards to the safety of taking the vaccine. And in fact, it's probably gonna be helpful to you uh, to prevent any complications of influenza that might develop during pregnancy. So in fact, we do strongly recommend uh, that women of all ages, uh, especially pregnant women, do get the influenza vaccine as it's the, definitely the, the safest way to go uh, for both mother and for, for unborn child. The concept of, of influenza vaccine for nursing mothers is very similar to that of, of, of with pregnant mothers in the fact that there is really no contraindication to you uh, getting the vaccine while you're nursing. It's an inactivated vaccine and in fact it uh, you know, again, will confer you protection that will help you to reduce your risk of getting influenza and as a result, so you can continue to nurse and provide the best care for your baby.